Welcome back to this week's market drama. We'll start with the stock market here. The S&P 500 was down 1%. NASDAQ was down 2.4%. And the big drivers there were earnings as well as some commentary from the Fed that we'll cover. There was one asset class that was up big, and that was oil. Oil was up 8.7%, uh, inching towards 80 bucks per barrel. So what happened there? Russia announced that they're going to cut 500,000 barrels per day of production. Uh, that's roughly 5% of their total production. Uh, this announcement comes in the back of Western bands on their crude and oil products uh, that started to be implemented in December, but also in, in February. Uh, so that's really why kind of they made that announcement. Oil is simple demand supply equation, right? Less supply, all prices go up. The uh, I mentioned at the very beginning that earnings are not doing as well. So let, let's go there for a minute. Last week, 69% of the companies in the S&P 500 um, have now reported, right? Once that by the end of, uh, of last week, um, roughly 70% of those companies have reported better than expected earnings, but that's lower than usual, right? The five-year average is 77%, right? So I mentioned companies are very good at setting a bar that's low enough for them to beat. Right. So usually 77 percent beat this time, only 69, 70 percent have have beat. Right. So that, uh, from that perspective, they haven't done as well. Uh, the expectation for the next two quarters has also come down. Right. So the, the forecast, how this stands now, when you look at consensus is now calling for 5.1 percent. Uh, I'm sorry, negative 5.1 percent growth in the first quarter of 2023 and negative 3.1 percent year over year growth in the second quarter. That would mean three quarters in a row of back to back to back negative earnings growth, right? So not uh, not really doing well there on that front. And as I mentioned in, a number of times, right? If if earnings are not growing, that's one of the main drivers in the medium and long term for uh, for the stock market. So uh, that's on that front. Now there was also a uh, a speech that uh, Fed Chairman Powell gave on this Tuesday that drove the market lower. Uh, he made comments and and I quote. If strong labor data persists, peak rates may be higher, meaning, hey, look, if the labor market continues to be this strong, we might need to hike interest rates a little bit higher than we originally anticipated. Market does not like to hear that. right? So that's one part of the reason as well that this week we had uh, we had the sell off. When we look at the next week, we have the main call it macro um, indicator to keep an eye on is CPI. Right. Uh, we have. Core CPI uh, expectations year over year of 5.4. Prior month was 5.7, right? So we continue. We, we're expecting that inflation uh, numbers to continue to come down. If if they do, that could be really good for the markets. If they don't, right, it could disappoint uh, disappoint markets. On the earnings front, we have 61 S&P 500 companies. Uh, so we're kind of getting to the tail end of of earnings season uh, here. That is it for market drama this week. Stay tuned for next week.